In the beginning, we are told, a voice spoke out in the endless depths of space to say, let there be light. Constantly and always since that day, the visible light which flashes between the stars has been paced by a powerful twin, the unseen glow of radioactivity produced by the monstrous nuclear furnaces which are those stars. They issue bursting floods of radiation and showers of particles too tiny to be matter as we conceive it. Radiation and particles which flash through all space until they strike other matter. And in their striking, they alter that matter and create still new flares of radioactivity. Dead asteroids, suns, moons, or green planets. All matter in space receives this constant rain of radioactivity. So radioactivity is no new thing on Earth. In addition to the cosmic bombardment, creation planted unstable atoms in the Earth itself. They are in our mountains, in the air we breathe, in our food, and in the cells of our bodies. Relatively rare, but still vast in number, they decay one by one, here and there, in a total of countless myriads, in a barrage of inconceivably tiny and silent explosions. Each explosion is another spark of radioactivity. So all life on Earth has reached its present shape in company with this all-pervading haze of radioactivity. Extremely thin, with extremely low-level intensity, it has always been with us. It is nothing new.